Fairy Tale is an amazing show. Now I know a lot of people hate Fairy Tale for one reason or another, but Fairy Tale really is amazing. It knows how to hit the emotional high points extremely well for a shonen series especially. That is in part due to the character writing of the show. It makes you feel invested with each of the character stories, whether or not the main character or a side character. Each character is written really well. That sometimes it could be hard to tell who's supposed to be a main character and who are supposed to be the side characters because Fairy Tale makes you really feel like you're a part of the guild, living out your daily life with them, which is something that you can't really say about most shonen shows like Fairy Tale. I remember when I first watched Fairy Tale, I was in a pretty dark place. I was lonely, I had few friends, and so when I discovered Fairy Tale and the characters made me feel like I was actually there and actually a friend or a guildmate, it brightened up my day every time I watched it. Watching the fairy tale guild members joke around and go on missions is an absolute blast, and that is because those are the moments that contrast insanely well with the emotional moments that fairy tale is known for. These joking around moments are the moments when characters truly get to shine and we get to see their true personalities, and that they aren't just mindless characters to fill space in the show, and that they're real people with emotions of their own, and which adds a lot more to the overall world of fairy tale. The emotional highs and lows of fairy tale are what make the show special because the show allows us to feel the pain of the characters through these scenes, which can show a lot of turmoil in some of the characters like with Urza for example in the Tower of Heaven arc. We get to learn a lot about her past and how she was a slave girl raised to revive Zareph, and we meet some of her old friends who were manipulated by Ultir to hate and betray her, and when she finally meets Jalal again she completely breaks down which is super amazing because before we had only known her as one of the strongest wizards in the guild, so when she finally breaks down like this it humanizes her character, makes us feel a lot more despair alongside her. A lot of people hate the power of friendship dynamic in fairy tale, but I personally think that it's one of its strengths as a series. Now of course it's stupid to assume that your friends can just give you a power boost out of nowhere, but that's not really what I want to talk about here. I feel like a lot of people misunderstand the premise of fairy tale because it's not your typical shonen. There's no inherent final goal to become the Hokage or the Pirate King. Fairy tale is about friendship and bonds more than anything else, and because of that, they use the power of friendship as a way of showing friends can give you strength, not in the sense that they use in the show of course, but a lot of people are only clinging on to life because they have such good friends, and I think that's a message that fairy tale is trying to portray, because in each arc the characters are always supporting each other in one way or another, which really shows the bond the characters have with one another. And the fairy tale guild is basically just one giant family, and you can definitely see that with how they interact with each other and how they support each other through the hard times. The bonds that each of the characters have with each other just shows the best part of fairy tale for sure. The character development in fairy tale is a little lackluster for the most part, but there are two characters that have some amazing development throughout the series. Both of them went from being horrible people to being some of the best people around, and those two characters are Gajio and Loxus. We are first introduced to them. They are villains of their arcs, but then as time goes on, they learn, grow, change, and become better people by the end of the series. Gajiol is introduced in the Phantom Lord arc as one of the strongest members of the Phantom Lord guild. He hurts anybody he wants to, friend or foe. He has no regard for human life whatsoever, and he is basically the scum of the earth. But as time progresses, he starts to interact with the members of the Fairy Tale guild, especially Levi. He starts to change and actually finds his purpose for fighting, and he doesn't just hurt people for no reason anymore. Now, he actually protects the people he cares about, which the two most important people to him by the end of the story are Levi and Juvia, both of whom he protects on multiple occasions throughout the series. And honestly, seeing Gajo go from a guy who has a heart made of iron to a guy who has finally found something to protect and fight for is honestly amazing, and that's why Gajo's character is one of the best in fairy tale. Loxus is an even better character than Gajo, because when we're introduced to him, he's an arrogant man who, because of his strength and a relation to the guild master Makarov, thinks he can get away with just about anything. But it, as we quickly find out, Loxus is a very complicated character. At the end of the fighting festival arc, when he tries a powerful forbidden spell fairy law, it fails, but not because he did something wrong. No, it's because the spell can only damage people who he deems as an enemy. So despite the fact that throughout the course of the arc he tried to convince himself that his guildmates were enemies, in his heart he knew that it wasn't true, and so the spell failed. And after that arc he was kicked out of fairy tale, and he goes on a journey to find himself. And in the next time we see him, he is a completely different person. Not only is he stronger physically, but his personality has completely changed. Now, instead of fighting to try and take over Fairy Tale, now he tries to protect the people he cares about most. And in probably my favorite showing of his during the Grand Magic Games, his father tried to convince him to tell him about a powerful forbidden spell so he could destroy Fairy Tale. And even though Loxus was trapped and outnumbered, he still fought to protect his guild maze. In what was a five in one fight, he was still fighting his father, who at this point we thought was stronger. And he still won the fight, and not only did he win, he also exposed the plot to destroy Fairy Tale, which to me just completely brought this character full circle. Fairy Tale is a series that focuses on the bond between people and obviously the epic fight scenes as well. It is a show about friends, and if you are ever in a dark place, then I highly recommend watching Fairy Tale, because I promise you. 
that it will raise your spirits quite a bit. If not from the great character dynamics, then definitely from the cringy comedy they throw in every once in a while for good effect.